Welcome or welcome back to my book channel. My name is Lauren from Lady Lauren Explore, and today I finished a tomb. I finished Omnibus. I I finished it a week, a week ago, but I'm doing a video on it now, and that is a Alice's book. Well, this is like the first three books in the U of B collection? U of B, I think it is. U of J, U of J collection. <laughs> almost had it, almost had it. But this features the first three books because it follows the, the same couple in the three books. Looking to score, game changer, and playing for keeps. This is the last chapter edition of the omnibus. And I like it because like it has, you saw images, social media posts. It's was so cute, good. And you did have cliffhangers, obviously, because it's a three, it's a trilogy for the first, the first three. I think there's like five in the series, but the first three follows are a couple in here. Love them. But this features cheerleading, competitive cheerleading, um, football, because she, her brother is a football player, like an NFL football player, and she's dating or has been dating or will be dating a football player who is also about to be signed. You know, you know, but this was so good. The premise of this is she's going to a college that doesn't know that she is also a competitive, a higher tier cheerleader. Some cheerleaders know her, some don't, but she's going to this college away from what she knows, but she does have some of her hometown friends with her, her like ride or dies with her at this new college, but she has split up between her whole friend group. She's at this new college and she catches the eye of a titan. He is called Casanova because his name is, I think, Nova or like Casanova or something like that. Something like on the fact of like Nova or Casanova, something like that. But anyways, she catches his eye. She is not trying to have it. She is very shy. When I mean shy, I mean she does not have any social media, and there's a reason for that that later gets like brung out slowly as we continue through the three books. But there is a reason why she doesn't have social media, and there is a reason why that she doesn't really like being in the spotlight. Mainly it has to do with her past and why she went from a different, well, she went from high school to college, but like why she is in a new place with new people and not with her huge friend group like she would be. And that has to pertain to a very traumatic incident that happened to her when she was in high school. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was traumatic for real, for real. What we do know is that he starts breaking down her barriers and it's very, like, it's so cute to see. Like, he's so persistent and even though she wants to trust and believe in him, she always has her guard up. She's always hesitant. And then you slowly start seeing her break down her barriers herself. And then stuff happens. So I'm not going to ruin the whole entire book, but it does leave on a very sad but much needed cliffhanger because they can't be all happy. <laughs> but I will say that not long after what happens in the ending of the first book does it have like a quick change around in this person realizes that what they did was unwarranted and also like very over, over exaggerated in the grand scheme of things, but they also have to work and build back that trust. Even though we, we find out why this person did what they did in the end, and it is a legitimate reason, but if you just talk it out and not kept it a secret and not kept it till everything exploded in your face and then try to then say hey this is why I did it 
and you got the forgiveness but not the trust just saying just saying I love this book. This was really great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The spice was okay. Like I was more cared about like the plot than the spice, which is always good for me because sometimes if I read a book and I just care about the spice, that means that it's like not that good of a book because like the plot isn't carrying it. The spice is, but this one was just, and what's crazy about it is like it uses social media um, I don't know if in the regular books it uses social media posts, like, but there's text messages, there's Instagram messages, there's reposts, there's interactions between different accounts that you see on screen, uh, well, see on paper. <laughs> and it just made everything so much more believable and also more enjoyable because I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I can actually see this happening. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just... I, I truly wish instead of what they what they did was like they had real people in like blurry situations. Like, let me find one like this one. It says Mason, pictures of Mason carrying two cups of coffee. So instead of like having this picture where it's like a, a real person, just like very blurred, you could just have a cartoon of the character carrying coffees. I think that would have been so much better, more realistic and more and more engaging. But I did enjoy this because like there's like some ones where like, it's reposts and people are responding to the post. And then you see like other characters who are friends interacting with the post that you won't see in the actual text. It's it's nice. It's it's more plots. It's more like it's thickening up the tension. It's also like making it more cute. And I thoroughly enjoyed that aspect of it. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you read this because that book was like, well, that series, the, the three, three I read are really good. We're really good. And you do see, again, you see the other couples coming together. I'm just saying, it's cute. But my name is Lauren. I post a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Sunday. So please do subscribe so you can get notified when I have uploaded. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>